He said that the lie detector test determined that that, that was a lie, huh? OTR Diva Pinky in the building. So, uh, disturbing allegations uh, going on. Um, this is coming from an article, uh, October 5th, 2023. Okay. Washington, D.C., representing three unnamed women uh, and the National Women's Law Center that's, you know, representing female truck drivers, Real Women mm -hmm. in Trucking, is in partnership mm -hmm. with a law firm that has filed a class action hiring discrimination charge against Stevens Transport, one of the nation's largest refrigerated trucking companies. The charge alleged filed with the Equal Opportunity or Equal Employment Opportunity Commission alleges that Stevens routinely, routinely now, refused to hire women truck drivers or substantially delays hiring them because the company only allow women to train for driving positions with women trainers. And Stevens does not have enough women trainers to provide timely training to qualified women who applied and get this, this is back in 2014. So <laughs> now you've been with oh. Stevens. Uh, shout out to you, Pinky. You know, you, you've been with Stevens uh, Transport uh, for quite a while. You, you are, you, you're pretty much an advocate for, for the company as well as being a female trainer yourself uh you you train plenty of females well not plenty but a few that you can handle and you trained uh, a lot of male drivers over there i what's what's your feelings on this uh class action lawsuit that's that's uh brought upon stevens for a not having enough female truck drivers and b not hiring the females simply because they don't have enough female trainers with the company what's your thoughts on that it's a lie with well, a lie detector determined that was a lie it's not that they don't it's, it's not that they're not trying to hire females it's like right now with with right now with with the trucking industry as where it's at right now uh they're not taking it i ain't gonna say they're not taking any females they're they're we are limited with female trainers that's our biggest issue right now is we're limited with female trainers because most females come in, they say they want to come to Stevens and when they go through orientation and when they have to sit down and pair them with a trainer, most of them will end up saying they only want a female trainer. And most of our female trainers, um, like myself, I mean, some of us, we, we just stopped training females because of the 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 disrespect or the um the attitudes of female it's not that we don't want to train is some come in and wants to run our trucks wants to tell us what we we as trainers you know what we need to do when we're trying to teach them and with stevens is we normally have like two orientation groups you know we start on sunday we have another one coming on wednesday however with the industry the way it is and with freight being the way it is we they had to actually reduce down instead of having those two classes only do one class and with our training now they have changed our training we used to do it every sunday now we do it every other sunday so we're not producing a lot of trainers and then when myself i am a recruiter i try to tell my female drivers why don't they become trainers and most of them don't want to become trainers because of all the stories that are heard from other female drivers of the stuff that they go through when they're training. So it's not, it's not Steven, you know, and it is, it is just the attitude of women, two queens in, in one roof, under one roof and trying to, you know, live and trying to work at the same time. 
if females would come in and have that 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 mindset, like what they would go to Burger King or Walmart and get a job, if somebody's training you, you learn what they're teaching you, if they would come to the trucking industry with that same mind frame, okay, I'm getting in a truck with a female and she's going to train me and still have that respect and everything like that and still ask questions and know the rules and everything up, up front, there would be no issue. You know, you would get the training done. Females, there would be more female trainers out here because Steve is not the only company that does not have a lot of trainers, a lot of female trainers. However, now I, I can cross gender train. I can train male and females. However, I just choose not to train females because I'd have been in an office behind stupid stuff behind females because it's stupid stuff that should not, you know, be told on, you know. But hey, I mean, I I can't. They're not. I'm not gonna say they're not hiring drivers, female drivers. Because I had just a female driver, a female. Um, she's not a driver yet. She just got a female. She was like, um, what should I do? I put in for Stevens, and I, you know, got pre-approved. I said, just call them, see where they at with the classes. And just tell them you want whatever first thing slot come open for a female, you want to be put in it. It's not that they're not trying to hire a female. It's the fact that we are limited. And there's not enough females out here that are willing to train. That because we got females that drive for, that drive for a female doesn't mean every female. Now, that's across the board, I, though. Uh, I mean, that's 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 right. across the board. That's, that's not just with Stevens themselves that's that's like across the board they got you know they got issues with female trainers at at different uh uh trucking companies that's that's training their 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 female trainers are limited you just don't have that many females like you said that wants to train for whatever reason but these new jack females right. that's coming in that's all they want they they don't want to be in a truck with a male for whatever reason, but the same attitude, Correct. the same issues, the same camaraderie, it, it doesn't matter because I just did an expose on a female that had an issue with a female trainer. Like, you know, they couldn't, you know, they couldn't get along with each other. So uh, it, does it really matter? Whether if it's a female or a male, I mean, maybe uh, to me it's all about you know getting your getting your experience. But all right, so uh, continuing uh, with the article, uh, it says a couple of un -anonym anonymous women drivers had applied for the positions at Stevens from April to June of this year. But they were all denied jobs due to the company's same-sex training policy and the lack of female trainers. Now, question. Do you guys have a policy in place for that uh, same-sex training? Do you guys have a policy? No. No, because they can come in, during, like I said, during orientation towards the end of Somewhere in the middle of your orientation or towards the end of the orientation, they give you a questionnaire. And on that questionnaire, it asks you, do you what do you want a female trainer? Do you want a male trainer? Do you want a smoker? Do you want a non-smoker? Do you are you okay with pets? This is what they give them in the orientation. This is not something they ask over the phone what before they get to Steven. This is what they ask them while they in orientation. What do they want? So that way they can pair them with the right trainer. Mm, okay. Well, uh, according to this right here, it makes it like that they was asked over the phone. Uh, one of one of the potentials who obtained their CDL license this past spring told Stevens that they will be willing to train with a man, but they were both told that it was not possible Stevens told the third woman driver that the company did not have a start date for her, placed her on the wait list for female starts, and then refused to yeah. respond to her inquiries about the job 
The charge details how despite Stevens advertised immediate opening for drivers, women who contact the company were informed of a freeze on the hiring of females and a lengthy wait list for females who wanted to start the required training. So, of course, you know, there's a lot of advertising out here. You know, some advertising quick hires, some advertising saying that we're hiring, but then when you call them up and that, they actually tell you, well, at this point in time, no, we're not bringing in truck drivers because of reasons. But is there... Is, is is your recruiters or do you, the recruiter that you work with or anything like that, are they actually telling women that know specifically that we're not bringing in women drivers because, because we, you know, we don't have a, we, we don't have the, the female drivers, uh, the train, the train? Them? No, um, no, they just sent out a generic email. Um, I know they sent out a, ge- a generic email because this whole, and I'm, as I'm sitting here talking to you about this, I remember this being in a group on Facebook and everybody on all, it was like on a female group and a uh, female trucker group. And they, a lot of women, I'm like, oh, I'm going to apply because this is a lawsuit. And, and one of the young ladies posted the, the, the letter. But it did not state that they was not hiring. It just said right now is a, is a freeze. And at that particular time, all the way up until June, July, it was a freeze. They've been uh, um, they've been hiring females because I was just there um, for a whole week during um, a job appreciation week, and I believe there was like maybe like three females in the classroom. And then I know prior to that week, there was like a couple of other females in the class before that. So, cause I, I mean, I'm there, I'm there, not enough, but I'm there enough to know what's in the class. Cause I always go to the orientation class cause I'm either scoping out new students or anything like that. And I just go in there and I just see what they have in the classroom. So they're high a female. I just think this is all stemming from, like I said, from what I've seen in on social media and one of the groups on Facebook where there was a lot of females saying, yeah, that, that's, 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 that's discrimination. That, yeah, that's a lawsuit. That's a lawsuit. And I seen that and how they was picking. And I was like, and I had to tell them in that group, they are high females. However, we are short on female trainers. You cannot make somebody be a trainer. You can't make them be a trainer. They just can't make them. If they want their peace, they want to be in a truck, they want to be solo, they don't want to train, they don't want the headaches, Stephen is not going to force them to be a trainer. They can ask them to be a trainer, but they're not going to force them. They're not going to tell them they have to be a trainer. Well, Pinky, OTR Diva, uh, trainer, Stevens, it's stored in there. So you, to, to your knowledge, uh, to your knowledge, there's there's nothing in place uh, that that Stevens would deny uh, female accessibility to work for the company sorely because they don't have trainers. No, I mean they're they're not gonna they're not gonna pay the money to send them there if they don't have a trainer for them. Because you're looking at six weeks. They're not, you know, most other companies don't do six weeks. Some do like two weeks, three weeks. Some just throw you to the wolves, you know, when you go out there by yourself. But even in six weeks, so if, if prime example, if I'm an OTR driver, that's six weeks I have a I have a, I have a uh, a new female with me. So that means after my six weeks, then I'll be ready for another one. So therefore, you know, they got to sit and think. It's a six weeks program. You know, you're six weeks of training that that person is on that person truck. So if they don't have that many trainers, you know, available. You know, we don't know how where they're at with that 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 driver. You know what I'm saying? Can't just say, okay, yeah, you've been on truck long enough. Are right, you done with your train? Let me let me go hire some more people. You, you know, it don't work that way. It's six weeks to make sure you properly know what you're doing out on the road. So they don't have. I mean, they don't have anything saying no. We don't hire this that or we don't. Um, females can only train females. No, we have we do have some guys that are 
across gender change that will train females. Then you have the men that have basically backed away from that because of allegation that females does. So it's, it's, it's a lot that, 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 that hinders females coming and females don't realize it, it, it's the stuff that social media, you get on there, oh, I got a, I got a male trainer and he did that, 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 or I'll get a new one, I'll report him. You know, you, you're on social media getting stuff from these people who are not in the truck with you and that trainer when, and they don't want to work for the company. Well, you should be talking with your trainer about whatever the issue is and talking with the company about whatever the issue you're having with that trainer. And that go to social media and try to talk to people there when they don't know nothing. They only know what you're telling them. They don't know the other side, what the trainer got to say. They're quick. You know they they're quick to go to social media real quick to to to, to um, sprawl out their grievances, you know. But yeah. yeah, OTR Diva, thank you very much. I do appreciate the sit down with me today. Uh, hey, uh, until next time, we get something else going on, man. We see this is Breast Cancer Month. You got the pink truck over there. You rocking up and down the highways, doing it big for Stevens. And uh, and and keep up the good work, ma'am. Thank you. You're very welcome. Big cheese got it locked.